action conference, seminars, and public relations. As regards co-option of the members, I am proposing the following members. Sri A.B. Chitle, Sri A.P. Samarth, Sri Apurva D. Desai, Basan, Baswan Tre Hempangar, <coughs> Chandubai Patel, Deepen Shah, Hemant Bide, Jailas Dalal, K.K. Kenya, Ketan Shah, Sri Mahendra Madani, Matthew Memon, Nalin Gupta, Narayan Bhatia, Nitin Vichare, Omkar Desai, Ari Marchan, Rajendra Pai, Ravinder Ringasia, Rupchan Madani, SR MBA, Sanjay Ladani, <coughs> Santhin Nair, Santibai Patel, Tarachan Vishnani, Tesh Sa, Udar Dadaji Patel, Yuraj Patel. If anybody has any additional request, please suggest. <laughs> I have two, uh, two suggestions. One is Anil Kulkarni and uh, one is Dr. Manjarekar. Okay. Okay. Missed out here. Dinesh Pandani ka bhi. Anil Kulkarni ji hai na, wo installation ko aayate, he, he knows me. But even I was not aware of installation ko kaise aage mein laap kaise aage. Nei, mere ko ye invitation aa raha tha, invitation aata hai toh mein aa jata hoon. So if he is there in uh, the committee, he will come. Yeah. Haan. Yeah. <laughs> Anil, Anil Kulkarni. Next point on agenda is to pass a resolution for the operation of bank accounts and other investments of BI Mumbai Center for the year 2020-23. With the change in fact, it is necessary to pass a resolution authorizing the new team of BI Mumbai Center to operate the bank account. I request members to approve the following resolution. It was regarding resolution to approve following resolutions. resolutions can say. Okay. Pass. Next item number 14 to discuss BI Mumbai Center organizing conference on industry issues on Tuesday 20th September 2022 in the conference venue of Intermet exhibition to be held between 19th September to 21st September 2022. <laughs> Friends, India Internet 22. Just uh, listen, you will get it, get to it. <laughs> Friends, India Internet 22 trade show for construction infra and mining machinery will be held in Mumbai between 19th and 21st set, set, uh, September 22. Intermet is an international brand of construction machinery show and is held in Paris and France. The organization of the Indian construction uh, Intermet 22 have approached BI for support and have requested BI to add value to the support by org organization conference public seminar during India Intermet 22. In this regard, to discuss the modalities of the support and event of to be done by BI Mumbai Center, Sri Rajan Sarma, President and Director, Messrs. Intreats, the Indian partner of Intermet, 
and Sri Vikram Sarma, Managing Director, Mr. Kobelo Construction Equipment India had come to BI office on Tuesday, 7 June 22. BI Mumbai Center will be organizing a conference on Tuesday, 20th September 22. Similarly, organizer of the World of Con Concrete, which will be held in, in uh, Mumbai between 13th and 15th October, have to also have Mumbai Center for support and organize a conference and seminar. We are in talks with them. World Furniture Expo is being held in Mumbai between 17th and 19th November 22. And the organizers have also approached Mumbai Center for support and organize a conference seminar. We are in talks with them also. I request Madhusudan to brief the further. A next point to take the note of chairman's report on center's activities till date. Friends, we last met on 23rd March 22 and since then I have to report that BI Mumbai Center along with BI's housing and RERA committee organized BI Mumbai Center lecture number 26-1-22-23 titled in intersections of re redevelopment and self-development in Mumbai metropolitan region on 11 June 22. The keynote speaker was architect Chandra Sekhar Prabhu, urban planner, management expert, former president of MADA and former board member MMRD and SRA. It was well attended webinar. The video of the webinar has been uploaded on the official YouTube of channel of BI Mumbai Center. Next item, any other item that may be brought forward with the permission of chair. You all are aware that Sri Pradeep Nagar has been elected as trustee of BI 22-25 and hence is now an ex officio general council member of BI. Because of this one seat of general council member from Mumbai Center becomes vacant, I propose that we nominate Sri Jay Prakash Bhatia as general council member. <coughs> The first BI Western Region meeting, meeting 22-23 and second BI Maharashtra State meeting 22-23 will be held in Nagpur on Sunday, 7th August 22. Sri Nithin Gadkari is the chief guest. I request you all to plan attending the meeting in large numbers. The second meeting of the Managing Committee and General Council of Builders Association of India for the financial year 22-23 will be held on 23rd and 24th September 22 at Uday Samudra Hotel, Kowalam in Thiruvandrapuram, Trivandram District, Kerala. I request you all to plan attending the meeting in the large number. It is concluded.
it has concluded meeting is concluded thank you everybody we will have a small break for 5 10 minutes हर मीटिंग को मुझे इधर लाने का और जाने के
gentlemen can can everybody take take their seats seats please please gentlemen please take your seats we also have amongst us representatives of kalpaturu doors they will also be distributing some brochures and after the presentation of uh, by the after the keynote address they will be having a small presentation by kalpaturu doors so please bear with us and please take your seats we are beginning the proceedings of the evening excuse me please you new also take your seats please don't stand Ladies and gentlemen, can we begin the proceedings? Uh, just will be a wait for two minutes. Uh, gentlemen, uh, by the time uh, the keynote speaker freshens up himself, we'll ha have a small, uh, small uh, program this thing. In token of values and creative services rendered in the field of plumbing and sanitary engineering, our uh, executive committee member from BI Mumbai Center, Shri Pradeep Bharvirkar, was conferred upon the prestigious American Standard Award by Brian Mumbai License Members Association at a grand ceremony held at Hotel Mirage, Mumbai on June 18, 2022. We have Mr. Pradeep Barvikar amongst us now here. I request the chairman to felicitate him by presenting a bouquet and shawl. Can I have somebody from us to take a photo? Barvikar, sir, Thank you, sir. Uh, Chairman, sir, uh, I think you take over the proceedings. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all of this informative evening. I especially welcome Advocate Suresh Doleji and look forward to him enlightening us all. I also welcome Sri Prakash Panjwani, past state chairman, BI Mumbai Center, and Sri Vijay Sukhwani, past chairman, Ulas Nagar Center. I will not take much of time and say request Madhusudan to take the formalities ahead. I request the, our chairman to welcome the advocate Suresh Doleji by presenting him a bouquet, shawl, and a memento. Our chairman is printing a moment also. Dole, sir. Our honorary joint secretary, Sri Narana Panani, will introduce Sri Advocate Doleji. Good evening. Good evening, every all office bearers, 
and uh, our <coughs> chief dignitary gyan madani trustee and mohinder rejwani today i am here with introduce sri dhole sir who is msme expert consultant to is here he is here with us giving some knowledge and advice regarding contract dispute with department by the with the platform of msme platform nothing more to say uh, i have taken his service and i am very happy with the consultancy and i get result if anyone on are required to take his service uh, he, he, he is here and he take card <coughs> and uh, take prior appointment and meet him thank you and my welcome warm to all available all here with us thank you thank you very much all the office bearers president secretary general secretary members most of the name i know because when i came here i am introduced i am very much happy to be in association with you sir i come from the land of tiger that is keen everything everything is most valuable and everybody is against the tiger everybody because he is a king of the jungle he is a king when i came here and i am presented with the tiger color shawl then i re remember so many things because i have to act and state had to enact that act but the the soul was the same that there should be a house, housing for the people who cannot afford the independent house so there should be apartments and i was one of the contributor in that apartment act so that time we had we were collecting the people that you come and enter in the apartment scheme we have the land we will contribute some money bank that time bank was not coming forward that time there was no loan ultimately one example i tell you first example happened now that is famous example because it is known and publicized widely so i have no hesitation to take that <coughs> one mr kolatkar he collected the money from the home buyer flat buyer and unfortunately he ran away with that so from that day it was a very much difficult all the builder lobby that time came in difficulty so that that is what happened but we were so much pers persistent that one someone's mistake or maybe default or whatever it may be it should not affect the housing industry because it was a problem of it was a housing problem so we started to talk to the reserve bank that you car out this scheme so that builder may get some amount as a loan through the bank and for that the housing corporation was framed that time it was already there but one wing was started that the loan facility to be given to the builder that was a time of crisis because everybody was opting for the independent house that time i am talk talking of the thing which was between uh, 60 and uh, 70 that time nobody was going for the apartment but when you see in bombay when the most of the builder who were who were getting money from the middle east they thought that today or tomorrow the central bombay and uh, Uh, the south bombay will be very much require requiring the housing and the complex will complex will come 
So they started buying the land, buying the houses and pushing the occupant outside the, uh, Mumbai and putting them some, somewhere else. So that movement started from that time. Now you know how it may, I am not go, going in detail in the history. Now what happened? Here, now land is not available, land, is, uh, land has become costly. It is not available, either you have to beco become developer or you have to become a purchaser of the land and raise your own apartment scheme or uh, whatever scheme you floor. And you are not going to build yourself because you have to engage the services of other people. Right from everything. Now you are just organizer. You are not a builder. That is, though it is written here, it is builder's association. I tell you, it is not builder's association. It is organi housing organizer's association. Because right from mission, making plaster, door, whatever, all the facility you are outsourcing it. And there you are coming into trouble. Because all these service providers are small, micro or small scale entrepreneurs. And they are being protected by MSMEB Act, that is Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise Development Act 2006. Because if you do not pay their amount, then they will charge you three time interest. Three time interest of the bank rate that is declared by the Reserve Bank of India. And there will be not one enemy. Almost all enemies will be around you. Now that RERA has come, then that, that has put you in fix. So I want to save you. I said that the tigers are to be saved. You, organizer is always tiger. You are to be saved. Builder is very, it is builder's association to be a builder. It may be a prestigious phenomenon. But so far as one, once you enter in the shoe, you know how it is difficult, most difficult. Because what happened, whenever you, have, you are taking the government organization's contract, you know what is happening there. You have to adjust with the officers. One officer is coming, giving you contract or is he giving you the work. He goes away, his another enemy comes. Or he may not be enemy, but he expects something, some favor. So all your share, whatever you have estimated, it is watering down. That is the most important thing. So now you, are, you have to be also get protected under this act. That is, that is my suggestion. Now, when you say that I am builder, how I am, I am going to be a small entrepreneur, or how I can be micro entrepreneur, you are only micro or small entrepreneur because you don't have your crane. You don't have your building equipment. Those who, who have got the equipment, you are hiring the, uh, those equipment and paying them charges. So what you have got, you have got your brain idea and your prestige, bankability, whatever it may be. Whatever minimum thing you have got, you have got there, those things. So better you get register yourself. Unless you get registered, you cannot require money from government department. Mr. Narendra Bhai was there, how I, we, we fought with the government department, we know. Ultimately, because of the, among your family, only kindly keep in mind, don't mortgage your own staying house, residential house to any bank at any cost. Otherwise, you will be in the street. I know I am fighting cases against many people, and the big people in Pune have come in the street. Even big organizations have come in. So it is my, my suggestion, effective suggestion, that kindly don't put your residence house, mortgage to anyone. <coughs> Whatever may be, you see, tomorrow you will say that uh, tomorrow my amount is going to be released. It won't happen. Your expectation will never, ne never be fulfilled. <coughs> it will be just like that you will see that things are coming to you, but it won't come. 
most of the people, most of the organizers may have this excuse. So what I suggest, because I am fighting these cases near, near about 1800 crores I have sought for this small scale industry. And throughout India, not only all, throughout India I am uh, doing this business. So I, what I found, sir, that really it is very difficult when the man grows, business grows, it becomes very difficult for him. And so far as your control is there, it, it, is, it goes dilute. It is diluted because you can't reach everywhere at any time, every time. So, uh, sorry, huh? so what I request, that better you register yourself as a micro or small enterprise, your, even if your scope is maybe very big, you distribute it among your family to, uh, to whom you can uh, put the confidence. And secondly, when you are making the agreement with the service providers, maybe mission, maybe anybody, any service provider, kindly see that agreement should be very good, not very big. This large agreement and all that pages together, it is not at all required. All that is once upon time it was being done. Very simple agreement and very in very, very clear terms that see this is your responsibility, this is my responsibility. If you fail it, that will be amount of compensation, that will be amount of penalty. Don't keep all these big thing, arbitration and all that. I am the, I am the member of uh, Arbitration Council of India that is promoted by Supreme Court. I know I charge 5 lakh rupees per sitting according to the amount uh, value. So all those things are not required. Very simple agreement, very simple terms, very simple penalties. Very, very, very simple, in simplified term, please don't come to me, means me means advocate. Advocate, I will always misguide you. Advocate, see, it is a profession. Advocate will entangle you so that you will not go out. <laughs> it, is, it is just like a bhul bhulaya. Though I am professional, first thing I say, you settle your dispute among yourself. Don't come to me. If it doesn't happen, then I help them up other way. And ultimately, if they are bound, that see many times officers say they are coming to the chair of the of my ego, that we won't settle it. We'll destroy this man, destroy that. Then only come to me. That is last resort. So don't kindly, don't entangle advocates unless it is required, very much required. See, nowadays, earlier advocates were guiding you for the, your rights. Doctors were guiding you for good health. Now it has, been, it has become the profession. If no operation is required, 10 operation will be done. That is, that is because, because I, I have fought against the doctor also. Coming from, um, uh, got educated in USA and uh, putting the, uh, their, their dispensary and uh, uh, medical uh, unit here. And they were cheating the people. So I have done all these things. So again, I am addressing to these tigers who are sitting before me and who has given this tiger color shawl to me. I take it as my honor, sir, because it is, I don't want to make it a academic thing. Just I'm sharing my experience with you. So what I request, that come out of the veil of builders and all that and all that. You are one of the organizers. You are organizing all the facility along with the bankers. And see that minimum funds of your is put in the project, minimum. If you have to put 100 rupees, kindly put 10 rupees and 90 rupees cushion. It is very difficult. Financial management is very much difficult, I understand. But you will have to make such arrangement. Because what happened, you don't know. Even these are the 
corona uh, pandemic has come it has not crippled only the uh, these builders everybody is crippled so how it will come uh, how monsoon will affect how tsunami will affect how the political change will affect nothing can be predicted nothing can be pred so you are sailing your boat in the very rough 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 weather you don't know whether you can reach to coast or not that is my total experience of 50 years and therefore what i request that i am not here come to expand my consultancy and all that because basically i am coming from the social services so i i i, I come from this um, um, organizers lobby that uh, there should be good organize, uh, organizing capacity built up organizing capacity so there could be employment effective employment and good employment for everyone so this is my suggestion lastly so far as government departments are concerned government departments are most deceptive most deceptive department because they don't know, every officer know how to create hindrance in the work and what was granted to you or what was given to you how to make it fair that is definite because government is not a um, thing which can be seen it is ma made out of jo those person who has got in government very difficult attitude is proven nowadays everybody wants money everybody want money and in such a way they want that they want do they don't want to reveal themselves so while dealing with the government you will have to think twice first you will see that this much profit this much profit it will be there it won't happen the profit will be always deceptive so far as government departments are concerned because site will not be available the electric poles will not be removed then sewage will not be done if you don't do accommodate the local leader then local leader will come and he, he will start protest protesting against you putting the court cases bringing stay all this nonsense will will be done so while taking while taking the government contract you will have to think very coolly thousand times i say thousand times because i have seen so many in uh, chennai just i am quoting one example there was a question of electrification of the rural places and the towers electric towers were to travel through the fields one of the actor he had a lobby he said no such person such amount is required to me from the contract and that amount was very high so it was very much difficult the person was from the from vijayawada one person and another from nashik who has taken the contract ultimately he the said leader say either you pay this or i shall see that your tower, tower, uh, towers will not be set up, set up in the fields and it was very much difficult time ultimately i fought i won the case but by that time the bank attached the property of this organizer who, who has taken the work because whatever he has taken against the contract it was gone so all these are the experiences i am sharing with you so, so i i i know that you are well experienced people i don't have to convince you much whatever question you have got to ask with uh, to ask in reference to with uh, your business your work you may kindly ask i am always open to you i am not here to give, give the consultancy or expand my business because at this time under the micro the equipment up to uh, 50 crores and that comes in the uh, the small
Only the difference is the total investment which is yes. made. There are yes. some. Yes, yes, true. It, is. it may be on services. Services may be of larger amount. It will go enter into the uh, small. Why you, you see this micro get more benefit? So far as banks are concerned, if you have to purchase uh, com uh, computers or some other equipments, then you get more benefit. Means there are various schemes. So you see, now it is very good uh, association here. The association can do one thing, that uh, you may hire the services, services not uh, paid, uh, not employment services. Various schemes are to be studied and to be delivered to you. So that can be done. And amount can be con contributed through the association to be paid to that consultant. That can be done. Because you see, everybody is going individually and studying this scheme is uh, very much difficult. So association can do it. Your research part and uh, the relief part, association can do. Secondly, very nice question you have asked. See, there is a glut in deciding cases. If the cases are being channelized through the association, see 10 cases, 15 cases, association take together, and then uh, request the authority that these are the cases to be settled, that also can be done. So association can play a very effective part. That is what I submit here. So there are many technical problems also comes when we file application and all that it gets rejected. For an example, if suppose a PO is not there, purchase order is not there, then now they have come out with enough provisions. Okay, you file your affidavit. Purchase, purchase, see, there are there may be oral order. Also. Oral also, yes. but then the you then have to confirm. You have to give the affidavit that it was oral order. That's all. But on many technical grounds, it no, gets no, rejected. No technical ground. If any technical ground, any anybody is troubling, kindly approach me. I shall see it is sorted out. Okay, sir. Yes, subsidies are there. Subsidies are there. So for that, all the schemes are there. The scheme you, you will have to study. See, when you are uh, developing uh, housing for the tribals, or you are uh, developing some, uh, some uh, infrastructure scheme, which is on uh, priority part. So there you get subsidy. So all these schemes are there. There are, I, according to me, there are 308 schemes. And so the big list is there of various departments, not only one department. Even this uh, tribal department, the resettlement department, all these schemes are there. So see, there is so much work. If well, someone is going to put a research study here, for you one. Then you can choose that this, this scheme will be suitable to you. See, one per, uh, nowadays what happened, the, for tribal, hostels are to be built, low-cost hostels. And those contracts are given only to small entrepreneurs. So that also can be uh, taken. You uh, see, there may, be, uh, there may be a big project that you can have. But all the small projects which are bringing you money, that should never be foregone. Uh, once again, I request, please don't ask questions without using the mic. Because as like I told you, we are live on YouTube. The people who are watching it, or which is getting recording also, recorded also, it will go on YouTube channel also. The question, if you speak, ask without using the mic, it will not get recorded. Now we have received some questions on the Zoom chat. Mr. Rajujan will speak it out. And also we had received some questions on the Google form also. That also is having. Mr. Rajujan will take over the questions. Sir, basically this is about uh, arbitration. The first question is asked by us. We are a registered supplier under medium category. We wish to apply for arbitration against state government of Maharashtra. Is it permitted under the Act? That's the first question. Yes, so far as arbitration is concern, uh, concerned, arbitration is called ADR, that is, which is to be taken outside the scope of the law, but which is uh, alternate dispute resolution remedy. 
so far as government is concerned government is always individual government even him he may be is officer he may be minister once government department come rest of, against the rest of part it is individual so arbitration can be taken against government at any time with okay. prior notice only the condition is this the RB, you will have to give the notice that you are, you are uh, going to enter in arbitration and for that certain observations are to be uh, followed that you have to give three names two names suitable names and then according to that most of the uh, in building construction it is a, a techno legal aspect so you will have to give the name of techno legal people so the answer is yes, yes. but there are some technical procedures to be followed yes the and that can be done means yeah. that is easy the second question is even if there is no arbitration clause in the contract mm -hmm. whether an msme is permitted to go to the arbitration yes 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 <coughs> and the yes. third question so uh, only i want to add it in main contract if there is a no clause of arbitration if there is there are emails or there are there is a letter correspondence that you want to settle the dispute through the arbitration and the other party say yes we can think about it or we accept it or even other party doesn't reply still it form the arbitration agreement and it it work as an agreement uh, for arbitration as a clause okay the next question is we were under CIRP year, mm. CIRP earlier. Now the plan is approved by NCLT. Yes. We wish to know the procedure for applying for arbitration. So far as once you enter in NCLT, what happened? The provision in NCLT that all your doors are closed. All your doors are closed. Either you will have to withdraw from nclt because once you enter the in nclt then that is a uh, nclt uh, i don't want to comment but nclt is not a proper uh, thing because that close closes all the doors of settlement except liquidation or giving you you the uh, uh, running the organization through the committee of the investors so NCLT thing kindly don't bring it in the Now the next question. If we cause any damages in our projects, could we claim in MSEFC as per section 15 or 17? Yes. That is also very much important question. That if any damage is caused and whether you can claim because it is sort of compensation. So sort of compensation, you will have to raise the invoice. If you enter in, in a glass house, glass house, you are seeing any of seeing the examining the glasses. And if fall down, if it, it, it fall down, then it is considered as you have purchased it. So any damages, damage caused by any person it is at his risk. So you will have to raise the invoice that such and such damage has occurred because of you. It is your responsibility. This amount you have to pay. But here you will have to raise the pro forma invoice. If you raise the invoice, then you will again you will be subject to GST and taxes. So pro forma invoice is here. Once you raise the pro forma invoice, give the time that within such and such time you have to pay this. It may be a matter of compensation. And if it doesn't pay, then you, you can approach the uh, this micro and small enterprise facilitation cost. Next question is, can we claim damages such as loss of profits? No. Loss of business opportunity in our claim? See, loss of opportunity and loss of profit you cannot, uh, you cannot claim unless there is, there is, and there is some failure on the part of the uh, your counterpart. It has happened in uh, one case, Mr. Narendra Bhai. That site was not handed over. Site was not handed over, and therefore he could not complete the work. 
So all the machineries which was put on the site was idle. Neither he could use it outside and neither theirs. So ultimately, uh, in uh, uh, mutual settlement <coughs> agreement, that is uh, again ADR, that is conciliation proceeding, then it was accepted as it is our failure that we could not give you the site, proper site. So this compensation we are going to pay you. But you have to establish it. It can be done. So with the proper records, yes, etc. See, now the one question from AP, Andhra Pradesh, it has yes. come by email. In a first contract case in AP, the MSME council has passed the order for principal and for payment of interest. The government has not complied with the order. Hmm. The periphery has approached honorable NLR court of AP. Hmm. AMD case is still pending. Is there any other alternative remedy available to the petitioner? No, then only one thing you can you can do that in MSME Act also there is a provision for alternate uh, resolution that is appointing the arbitrator by the council. That is the only effective remedy because it has happened so far uh, not uh, exactly in uh, Andhra in. Um, now it is in Te uh, Telangana. So same uh, same case was fought there, and uh, we got success. So even after the high court judgment, you can no high court judgment. High court never prohibit you <laughs> to go for the settlement or arbitration. There is no law, no court which prohibit the arbitration. If it is illegal, means illegal arbitration, it is illegal. Every every court is encouraging it. What happens, it is also a question to be, uh, to be answer to be uh, noted that even the civil procedure code, there is a section 89. 89 uh, question says, 89 uh, section says that all the remedies, that is conciliation, mediation, mutual settlement, and arbitration to be encouraged by the court. So, court will never come in uh, in between and never come in your way. So that that is the thing which ki kindly be, kindly be noted. Many times, what happened? Maybe professional. Uh, I don't say uh, incompetency, but maybe because of some professional benefit kept in mind. Most of the uh, we people, I, I myself count for that. We are trying to keep you away away from this um, settlement process. Because there, I don't get uh, uh, money and uh, remuneration. Yes. That, is, that is the problem with me. Advocates. <laughs> me. Sir, uh, there is the last question. Yes, sir. Banks are not cooperating as per the directive of the central government, citing various Indian guidelines. Yes. This, this MSME Act has any specific provision to implement the same? Yes. Or True. What is uh, what you have said is the most important question. Now here your your crucial role of the association comes. See, in pandemic, what happened? All these medicines, masks, and all equipments were manufactured by the small scale enterprises and distributed throughout India through the government department, government hospital, health department. But when the amount was to be paid, gover government department later on after using it says that your equipment, your equipment, your material was not good and all that. And the banker, bankers who have financed this scheme, they say now you pay us money. Government say, uh, this uh, government department says we don't have funds. Now I have taken this matter. This is this specific matter I have taken. That government has to pay me, say, uh, some uh, uh, 16 crores. Bank has to uh, recur, uh, recur from me some 9 crores. Bank is attaching my property. So I have, I have taken this matter with the government of India. Earlier, Mr. Y uh, R. Sharma was there. Now he, he has resigned and gone to UP. 
he was very much accommodative and he created the funds that for such such reason the funds should be made available at very nominal rate to such people affected person so that it can be routed through bank or it can be repaid to the bank now this scheme now again stopped struck because of certain uh, issues because nobody took interest <coughs> new people have come and they don't understand this so here what i request you so far bankers are not cooperating you will have to bring the bankers as well as government department together effectively through the organization may your organization may be one but there may be two three organization join us and let the finance minister come before this association and uh, discuss about this because this has happened many times earlier i have done it but now again the when the person changes they forget all these things that is a problem so you can keep it burning all the while sir uh, this question is from hemant bidai sir he was our former treasurer msme 2006 act applies to many phases of construction industry disputes between contractor and clients dispute between contractor and government body or authority dispute between vendor supplier or contractor etc which of the above will be emphasized in your talk and whether with case laws or references am i right bid a sir your this question so far as case laws are concerned most important thing that uh, i have recently i have come across that was in alabad high court i have taken that ca- some tribal department were going for the hostels tribal hostels the builder have raised that hostel and after raising that hostel the government did not want to pay money up government did not want to pay money for various reason then i have taken that matter to alabad high court <coughs> and alabad high court say all not, nothing doing a matter to be referred to the council council is at kanpur there in up and those case law all these case laws are available because it is not necessary that you may not remember and not so whatever case law you require on each and every issue kindly give me list and accordingly i shall i shall give the advice there are more, more than 1000 case laws on each and every subject even this water bottle from the right from water bottle there are so kindly don't get worried case laws are there even this uh, kerala electric uh, electronic development corporation and then kerala electricity electricity board maharashtra state electricity board then tripura construction means tripura state governments all those issues are available to us on each and every field then the in school computers are to be provided in karnataka computers were taken the digital systems were set up but payment was not made so we have taken we won there all those case laws are there available judgment uh, this uh, er is there then uh, supreme court case, supreme court cases are there no 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 but there there are sections that msme section and all that those section that is but that is see because uh, what you see is uh, at present it is not available at present it is not available. so this is regarding the interest part now suppose when i have filed my application the interest rate was 8% at that time multiply by 3 compounded monthly 
Now when the MSME is passing the order, now it is 3%, 4% it has come. So whether the interest at the time of the passing of the award will be awarded or whether the I day when I have filed. Filed. Okay, so then uh, it, it be, suppose in, at that time it was not 8% because I could not, uh, maybe because it becomes very difficult to find out from the RBI that what is a two days rate. So suppose I have filed. No, no, yes, see, rates are available. You, if you go on the website of Reserve Bank, RBI, every, every time rate, rate is available. Yes, so sir. It, is, it is not a difficulty. Please don't. don't okay. Uh, uh, agree, sir. Accepted. Sir, but then if suppose technically instead of 7%, I wrote 8%. Is it my uh, my application gets failed, void, or oh, whether they will...